the good, you take the bad, you take them both, and there you have the fact for golf. Hello world, thank you for clicking on this episode of Golfing the Villages. I hope you got a kick out of Amy's little encore song which she sang me. I know it had me laughing out loud. Today's broadcast has us motoring over to Kane Garden Country Club in order to fulfill a viewer request. Kane Garden is another championship course which I had not played since arriving to the villages. Kane Garden is located at 1728 Bailey Trail in the village of Sunset Point. This course, like the bulk of championship courses, has a 27-hole layout and the nines are named Hibiscus, Jacaranda, and Alamanda, all of which are types of flora. As far as the fauna in the area, you may be able to spot the Southeast American Kestrel, Falcons, Burrowing Owls, and apparently a pair of bald eagles who have nested on the property. Although I did not witness any of the previously mentioned wildlife, I will say I found the natural settings and surroundings of Caden Garden Country Club to be quite easy on the eyes. Last thing I will mention is that we played the Alamanda 9 today from the Gold Tees, which are located up one box from the tips. The yardage was 3,310 yards as per the scorecard, and we linked up with a pair of nice gentlemen golfers who go by the name of Ron and Gene. Unbeknownst to them, their names sparked joy for both Amy and myself. Ron and Gene played from the green tee box, a full five boxes up from the tips. So we do have a little extra footage between the tee and greens. Without further ado, let's get after it. Good morning, everybody. 8.56 a.m., 69 degrees, first hole. Playing 380 yards, the driver is the play. Yes, long, straight, right up the oh, right side, not turning right over, but away. looking good. Going to catch the fairway, Perfect. long and deep. Up the right side. All right, this opening tee ball found the fairway. 103 to the pin. I've got a gap wedge in hand. Looking to get the scoring started on this beautiful morning in the villages. Good strike. Uh, not quite getting all the way back to the flag. Gonna be on the green. Look at that. Just one of those early morning swings that you just can't get all the way to the flag. Nevertheless, we still have this look at birdie. Gonna roll it up to the cup now, working back to the left and okay, dried up. Still a little meat on the bone here. Got at least a good five, maybe six feet to try and save par. And yes, into the cup for par. Finally, nice to find a first hole that didn't start with a par five. All right, on to the second hole here. It is a par three, uh, 161 to the pin. I've selected the eight iron from the bag. Good strike, long, straight, not turning over, hanging out in the center of the green, maybe a touch short, but we are on the green for bird. Yep. So this one, we're trying to lag it up as close as we can to the hole. There actually is an old cup in the way in my line, and bam, you see it hop right there? It actually hit it, and uh, that's my fault for not doing a better job. This is Ron with, I believe, a par, but maybe this is actually a birdie putt. And, uh, but he's got this nice little finish. We've got Gene here with a putt to finish 
up and well, nope. got to hit it, Tilly. Damn and it. now yours truly has a par saver that I want to get to the hole and get going. And, oh, no, just stayed out. Tap in for bogey. Didn't want to drop. Three putt. All right, on to the third hole, and now our first par five of the day, playing 500 yards. This is interesting because there's a tree somewhat in the middle, uh, right middle of the fairway. It's 245 to that tree, and I feel like I can take it over the tree, and I want to land it on the bunker just behind. Start the driver up the right on the right side of the tree toward the magnolias. Doesn't move. I don't see it down, but I think it's totally fine. All right, so as we uh, leave the green tee box area, uh, we're up this right side. I, now, I never saw the ball come down, but I saw that it was inside of the magnolia tree to the right of this oak. So I scrubbed this footage. I never found the ball on the course uh, or in the footage. Now, it is a white penalty area, meaning it's lost balls out of bounds. I'd have to go back and re-tee. So I did take a drop here. I hope you forgive me. But with the drop, dropping two now, hitting three, and 198 to the pin. I've got a four iron that I'm going to hit real soft. And I clank it out to the right, short, no good. It's just on the other side of the cart path, but uh, spoiler alert, we do find it. Like I said, I hope you guys forgive me. I get upset when I can't find a ball that I didn't hit too poorly. Anyway, 47 yards to the pin, 56 degree sandwich. I don't get it past the hill. I gotta say, I'm a little in my head at this point uh, with the lost ball. It's something I kind of struggle with mentally. Uh, this guy needs a hug, because this is for a five. <laughs> and we are on the green with maybe a chance to save six, so. Um, it's a six with an asterisk. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll give you that. But for bogey, no good. We're gonna tap in for a double. If you want to put me down for a triple, I understand. On to number four, playing 387, hey, oh, and right is bad, Great left time. is good. So in my in my head, I want to make sure I really hit a good draw here, and so we've got driver. Oof, a little oh, bit I of a snapper, right. low, left, oh, but you know what? I'm gonna be able to find it. Man. I think. Good news, we found a ball and it was mine. All right, on the approach shot here, we've got 185 to the pin. Out of the rough, I've selected the five iron and I'm looking to go left of the pin if necessary to feed it up the mouth. And that's exactly what I do here. Starts on the left, stays left, and will be on the mouth of the green. It's always hard to predict how the ball is going to come out in that fluffy stuff. But anyway, this is our third. This is a really easy up and down, uh, well, at least for somebody who's a decent golfer. But no, that's a good shot. That's a little 50 degree bump, bump ski, run ski. And uh, now we've got this to try to save par. Wow, like I know what I'm doing.
It's a good feeling. All right, so on to the fifth hole, par four, 377. And there is trouble up the right. There is some water. And I'm thinking just draw over the bunker. So I take the driver and decide to block it to the right. Does not turn over. I have no idea if it's going to be good. I see it bounce, and there's a hook. I'm going to give you a little extra cart footage. I might have gotten away with one, which I would really enjoy. I would too. I mean, you're going to make that swing. Like, to actually to play around where you think you make all your... You take the good, you take the bad, you take them both, and there you have the fact of all. So not every conversation we have in the golf cart is going to be uh, Emmy winning, but uh, I just wanted to give you guys a little taste of what we talk about when we're on the cart ride. Usually it's nothing but mindless chatter, but anyway, uh, we did find the ball. As you can see, it's sitting in a really good spot. All right, here we are in the middle of the fairway, 123 to the pin. I've got the pitching wedge in my hand. This is that, that softy that I like to hit. Uh, could be a gap wedge, but you know, I like that soft pitching wedge. Nice oh, control wow. though. No, hit it to the right. Club slipped in my hand, the face opened up and put it in the swale. All right, we had to go a little gorilla with this footage here. Um, I had to stabilize it, so it's gonna be a little shaky, but I'm sitting uh, down in the rough. I opened up the face of the 56. Flag was, I couldn't even see it. Um, it was just basically the top of the green. So that's a pretty decent shot from out of there. I do have this putt to save par, which would be nice. Oh, just slid past a little bit. So we're gonna put a spot on it. Nope, we're gonna go ahead and tap it in for bogey. There you go. And now over to number six, playing 374 yards. Another reason to hit the driver. In all honesty, I'm aiming at the traps on the right, looking to take it over them with a draw. And that's what I start to do. Hit this you nice high fall. bomb. You a little spinny, but it's going to find the middle of the fairway, and it's real good. So we catch up to the action here in the middle of the fairway, 112 to the pin. I've got the gap wedge out here. This is that controlled swing. Looking to hit the number. One time, let's go. Good strike, a little left of, now drawing. Gonna miss the green on the left, but just about hole high. It's a good shot. about that one this one's gonna slide I would say left to right and you'll see the movement here it's even more severe in person I feel like the camera doesn't do it justice so see how it slides real hard left to right I under read it I think uh, and obviously under paced it so we've got this tester for par in the All hole right. yes. Here's a fun hole. The seventh is a par three, playing 181 to the flag and 181 to the center of the green, ironically. Uh, the carts had just pulled off uh, on the left there. The cart path goes to the left. This is a six iron for me. 
And oh, I snap hook it to where the carts were, yelling, please don't hurt anybody. And it's going to be safe. Sometimes you're just going to have anomaly swings and, and it happens. This one's sitting in like a tuft of grass and there's not a lot behind it. I've got a gap wedge in my hand. I'm just trying to pitch it oh, and I blade it. Um, and not very good because it doesn't run a long way. So I leave myself with uh, this is a much better chance. This lie is tighter, still gap wedge. A little bump and run up the hill. I can be aggressive with it and not aggressive just enough. Just... Uh, it, it flew up on me, and uh, so I've got this really long putt for bogey. Spending shots on this par three like we've got him to spare. Lagged it up to the cup, not bad on the distance control. Um, tap in for a double. Yikes. I am playing the Pro V1X today, which is not my preferred ball because it spins a lot. And then you'll see why on this drive here too. It's a little too much spin for me, but 401 down the middle driver. Good swing long, Good. starts on the Good right, ball. now spins hard to the right, lands just outside that Ooh. bunker. I don't know, either cover the track, expecting. maybe caught the edge. play the left dash or the V um, to me they're a little bit better ball anyway 135 to the flag now the ball is in this massive rough there's a lot of grass I'm debating on gap wedge or pitching wedge I decide because I'm gonna have to hit a little harder pitching wedge and it comes out with not as much spin because of the grass but it is on the green on the left we do have a look at birdie Not the best look, I get that, but it is on the dance floor, barely. Um, so I'm going to roll it down to the cup. Looks like it's going to go left to right at the end. I'm asking for it to break. It doesn't break enough. I played a little too much. In fact, I was using that old cup spot there. But we have this for par. Yes, that is That's in the hole, right? In the hole, right, yes. Yeah. And on to our ninth and final hole. Thank you again so much for watching. 555 from the gold. It's actually 586 from the black. So this is a big hole, big long hole. That's what she said. Right down the muck and fiddle, as they say. Now turning over a little left. May miss the fairway, but it actually, uh, it is on the fairway, spoiler alert. Might have hopped so out of the drive. fairway. Credit to Ron for the muck and fiddle. I like that one. All right, so the 293 adjusted to the pin. This is a candidate for maybe driver off the deck, but I chickened out, decided to go with three wood. Big ask. Here we go, long straight, now turning over. Probably gonna miss the fairway on the left, but we're gonna have an okay shot for our third into the hole.
So this is 56 yards remaining, and what you can't tell is I am, I am in the rough here. This is actually a difficult shot uh, for me, I guess. But uh, 56 yards with a 56 degree sandwich, I fluff it, and I can't compress it, and I dump it in the bunker, and that is just annoying, right? So now with our fourth, a little bunker shot, same club, <laughs> that's always fun. And we're just trying to try to get it close, see if we can maybe make a par here. Or hold out for birdie. It's a possibility. That's a smooth bunker shot. It's pretty decent. Um, I have a chance at saving par, which now I really need to keep this score at just plus six. Come on in the hole. Now. Just hammered it. Wow. All right. Well, let's put a spot on it, think about it, and roll this in. Finish out with a boogie and plus seven for the round. Nice. Good job. Well, that is going to be a wrap on today's episode. I know for me, after filming this, I wanted to head to the short game area and work for a good four to six hours on my short game, specifically chipping, pitching, and putting. Sometimes we say there aren't enough hours in the day, but if we shuffle some things around, we can prioritize what's important. I hope you enjoyed watching as much as we enjoyed filming. If you did fancy this or any other episode you have watched, I would ask for you to consider subscribing to the channel as it is a tremendous help in being able to produce more Golfing the Village's content. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, see you on the course.